All right, we are back at Solid Rock here. Um, barriers are gone, obviously. They were taking them down as we were still here. So the barriers are still there. They're in this flatbed right here. And they do have services during the week time, so um, I'm sure they're going to be here for Wednesday or how you doing? Wednesday or whatever weekdays they're going to be out here. So we're going to take a walk on this side. What's up? Yeah, hold on. Hold on, you guys will be right back. I gotta mute it. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Uh, all right. So I want to. I want to make it very. I want to make it very clear. There's. I don't know. Um, where anybody got information or something that I had some kind of issues with Melissa or there was issues between us or something um, there has never been any issues between me and Melissa me and Melissa are good uh, she just came up to me asking me uh, if everything was good and I said yeah <laughs> there's nothing uh, there's no issues over here 
Um, so I just wanted to, there's, I guess somebody in the chat uh, was saying that there was beef between me and whoever. So I just want to clear whatever kind of uh, speculation or, or whatever is um, uh, being promoted. Um, but I know I've never I never heard it either. But you know how it is. You know we're back out here. Um, there's going to be people that create fake stuff. You know, um, just because we are uh, back out here. But I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew from me uh, to you guys that um, there is no uh, there is no beef uh, with me or anybody from my end anyway. Uh, from my end. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that. So, shout out to Melissa. I appreciate her uh, coming up. And, and uh, yeah, there's... We've never had any issues uh, with her or any of them. So, just wanted to share that real quick. All right. So, nothing's over there. Uh, we got the... Uh, got the barricades here so they're probably going to be up here for the weekdays they've been doing some stuff on the weekdays too um and so they're probably just going to sit here the whole time and they're just going to grab them uh whenever they whenever they need them so we're going to walk over to the other side yes yeah, nothing but love to melissa we're going to walk over to the other side, uh, see if there's... Oh, that van is still there. So we'll hang out for a few minutes. I'll go across the street, hang out in the shade, kind of catch up with you guys on chat. And then uh, we'll just chit-chat a little bit. So I was thinking that Trisha came back to drop the person off, whoever drove the van, but I guess the that wasn't the case. I think Trisha's coming back, actually. Is that her? It looks like her. So, so obviously no barricades here. Obviously, no barricades here. Uh, all right, that wasn't her. The exact vehicle, just not her. All right, so we're going to go ahead and walk across the street. And we're going to hang out and chit chat for a few. Stand in this shade. All right, we're back to where we were at before. We'll go ahead and park this right here. And we'll chit chat there. All right. Yeah, I made it to the beach. Um, we drove by. Uh, there's a bunch of people in there. There's a bunch of children in there. and uh, There's no reason uh, for us to hand the camera over at the, uh, at the shelter uh, when there's a bunch of children in there. So we did go by it. Uh, Trisha was out there. Uh, do I ever do meet and greets? Um, like here at the protest. Um, but as in like meet and greets, uh, typically no. Uh, just really freaking busy. Um, really freaking busy with everything in the background. Actually, as soon as I'm done with this, while I'm uploading the video for the premiere, speaking of the first time ever, 
Uh, I only have about 22 minutes left on my device for recording time, so uh, basically uh, there's a lot of footage. Shake my hand for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, are you coming out here? Oh, that breeze feels so good. So I don't know, it might, the premiere might, I'm gonna try and have it for tonight, but I don't know. I don't know if we, it might end up being a late premiere. Um, Cause if I'm literally that much out of space uh, for recording, um, it's probably gonna take quite a while for me to uh, get the protest HD downloaded, uploaded. I will have it downloaded on the way back, um, but uh, we'll see uh, how long it takes for the YouTube upload for that. So I can't give you a good time. Um, I can't give you a good time, but uh, uh, as soon as it is available, uh, I can get it uploaded. I will uh, be doing that for you. So I apologize. I can't give you a good time for the premiere. Uh, just know that I'm going to try and have it for tonight. Um, that way you guys get the HD version. And it'll also be uh, uploaded. So if you do miss it, you'll be able to come back and watch the HD version. Uh, I know that the streams aren't always the best quality for the live stream. That's why we do the uh, HD version. Be up. Now, after I get back, I got a meeting that I have to get to. Um, and that'll probably take a while. Then I have a security meeting with the team. After that, uh, regarding some other stuff. And then uh, after that, I will be able to hang back out and chat with you uh, while we do the premiere. So when the premiere happens, I won't be necessarily live. Uh, it will be live, but I'll be hanging out with you all uh, in chat for that. So I'm just going to hang out here for a few just to see if... Uh, to see if anybody moses on over here we might go for another walk here in a second um, but i'm ready to uh get this stuff done. beautiful day out but i'm starving too no i'm not heading back home today i'll be here uh throughout the week um there's work I got to do Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I also have to try and fit in, uh, I got to do some repairs on the vehicle, uh, so I got to try and, and, and get those done too, so there are going to be some points where I won't be live, or I won't be out on location, I do have to do some repairs to the vehicle, uh, maintenance, wear and tear, you know, um, and try and, I'm still kind of having some issues from the serpentine belt, uh, when it comes to a lot of these other parts, unfortunately, everything ran, you know, I, I take very good care of my engine, it is my ticket to get from A to B, so I always make sure I take care of that, number one. Uh, with that serpentine belt uh, being cut off um, with the serpentine belt being cut off uh, it just basically started a chain reaction of uh, different things uh, when it comes to the repairs that I've had to make basically uh, when the serpentine belt was cut and didn't know it um, I only made it just a couple minutes uh, down the road, and uh, that's when I didn't have any more antifreeze in my vehicle. Um, the antifreeze sprayed all over the engine, and 
uh, ruined a lot of the other parts, including coil packs and stuff like that. So it's just been a um, it's just been a uh, a chain reaction of things, and so there's just more repairs. Uh, that I need to No, it happened while I was out on the Sebastian Rogers search um, it's something that ever since we started searching for Sebastian um, a couple weeks uh, a couple weeks after that is when you know the harassing and the stalking and the following and and the weird stuff happening to people's uh, vehicles and things like that started taking place so it's nothing new um, I didn't think somebody would actually, uh, cut the damn belt off, um, but they did, and, uh, luckily, uh, we were able to, um, check it a couple minutes after that when my dash lit up like a Christmas tree, <laughs> so, yeah, it's, um, It doesn't make sense, you know. You're just trying to search for a missing child and all the weird stuff happens. So. But all we can do is keep pushing, you know. Just keep trying to do the right thing, be about the right thing. Uh, just keep pushing. And hopefully uh, the right thing happens. Yeah, Emmy, I was out on a search. Um, so anybody that, and the serpentine belt was only three months old too. So anybody knows about the serpentine belt, there's a reason why they do these things, okay? Because uh, they don't want you to have to make a repair, especially a serpentine belt, which powers basically everything in the vehicle. Uh, typically when those are getting faulty they'll either tear apart a little bit and you'll hear some flapping on your engine kind of like this the more you speed up the more it flaps uh, that never took place also when it comes to another way that the serpentine belt lets you know that it's faulty uh, it'll also squeal now everything was fine completely fine like I said I take care of my engine like it's my baby because that gets me from A to B to help people. And so I need it to be top notch. And, uh, and it was always top notch. I replaced the belt three, minutes, uh, three months before. And then uh, we went to a search. Everything was fine. We pull up. We get out and search. There was a suspicious behavior uh, that we were noticing uh, after we got about 30 minutes into the search. Uh, we could only see so far when we got back uh, that's when I got the vehicle I let it run for about 10 minutes to let the air cool down the inside uh, and was talking uh, to Trey after that I got in the vehicle instantly felt something was up I thought it was my power steering pump that went faulty uh, and what happened was is I pulled it up Trey got out, I popped the hood. He's like, bro, your serpentine belt's gone. And I was like, what? Like, what? My serpentine belt? He goes, dude, it's just gone. So I go around to the hood and I look in and yep, that serpentine belt was gone. There was no pieces. We looked all over inside the, the engine, the, the whole area. There was no pieces. Trey actually got back in his truck. Uh, and went and drove around. We just drove in a small area in the cemetery uh, to park. And uh, that's when he uh, went around a, a couple times uh, just to make sure. And he did not, there was nothing, no sign of it, no nothing. Um, as I'm looking in my engine, uh, I see where the belt's located. I see where the opening underneath is and it's like, oh yeah, that's simple as hell. You don't even have to really do this or that. And you can literally uh, cut it. You don't even have to open the hood. Um, so if, you're if you were watching the stream, it was from the live searches 
not the last ones that we did, but the live searches we did before that. Um, and you'll see, I show, uh, I show the camera. Uh, I show you, uh, basically, um, it's not very hard at all. I'll just say that. Um, so one of the things I am going to be doing is installing a plate uh, in the bottom um, so that way somebody can't just go underneath my car and cut the damn thing and, and take off with it. So... Yeah, it started a, a chain reaction of things, and now it's still not running at the peak performance as I was driving out here on this trip. It got sluggish. Uh, definitely was not running at peak performance. And so I'm going to try and, uh, you know, I got to get these repairs done so that way um, I can continue to keep going to these places. We got a bunch of big searches coming up for Sebastian. There's some other things, some other work I'm going to be doing, uh, you know, where we need to get out there on location. And so uh, I got to make sure that I can get these repairs done and then we can uh, keep going uh, to the next spot as we keep continuing on to help. So I think I might go take a walk around here one more time. Uh, I think we're pretty much... I think we're pretty much good for today. Uh, um, I just got my parts from... Uh, I can't remember. I think it was Advanced Auto at when we got the belt. And then the next morning when I was heading down to go do more searches, that's when the coil pack, the spark plug, the thermostat... Uh, gauge for the engine coolant and the oxygen sensor uh, went out. Uh, basically, uh, antifreeze got all over the coil packs. Again, antifreeze was all over the engine. It wasn't in my engine anymore. It was all over my engine, and it actually uh, got into the coil packs and then into the spark plug, which then affected the oxygen sensor because it was pushing too much gas through that wasn't getting burned up because of the coil pack going bad. And then obviously the, the temperature gauge for the coolant um, obviously was another part uh, that needed a uh, replace too. So um, went ahead and, and made all those repairs. I actually had to do that on the side of the, on the side of the road there. Um, cause I was on the interstate maybe 20 minutes into the drive and it, and all of a sudden I just lost any kind of power and I could only go about 20 and it was just chugging and my engine light was flashing, which means possible catastrophic engine failure. I mean, it was just, uh, a bunch of, a bunch of things. And so I need to, um, I need, I need to get those squared away because when you're driving all these miles from one side of the country to the other from the middle to over here you definitely you know it's not like it's an hour drive these drives I usually take are anywhere from 3 to to 17 or 18 hours and so you definitely um, that's why I take care of my engine because the last thing I need is to uh, be stranded um be stranded on the side of the road so so I'm gonna go ahead and end the HD clip like I said I'll have the shorter clips uploaded for you guys uh, I'm gonna be working on getting the premiere uh, loaded as quick as I can um, it's gonna be a lengthy one just because of the amount of time so I'm hoping I can get it done by tonight it might be later on, maybe 8 or 9 tonight, uh, just as a general idea. It might take that long uh, to get uploaded for the publish. Because I can upload the video, but it's high quality HD, so it's that you know what I mean. It takes forever uh, to upload. 
but it's it's definitely worth it. All right, so let me end the HD clip.